question lots of people face when preparing to sell their home. Will it move faster with an upgrade, or should I save my money and take my chances? Well, Daryl Baskin of the Baskin Real Estate Specialist is here to help us decide if we should remodel or if we should sell it as is. Thank you so much for coming in. Common question, and I'm happy to talk about it because the worst thing is that someone does all this remodeling, and then they call you and say, I am ready to sell my house and I want all this, I, I put an extra 20000 in it, I need that back. It doesn't always happen. So when, how do you know? You want to check your competition. And real estate is relative. You know, I'm one of those people that believes there's, there's black and white, right and wrong, and, and everything's clear except real estate. You can't do that with real estate. What really matters is, is there a house down the street that's less money, in better condition? What is it relative to? So in your neighborhood, for example, if you had a house with a pool, and no one else had a pool, you might be over-improved. But if maybe a third of the houses had a pool, you might be right in the market. You would say you would get more money because you had a pool. But what if every ha everybody had a pool and you didn't? Well, then you're going to get less. So there's the relativity that you see. The same thing goes with new carpet, new roofs, appliances, um, the style of kitchen. If you have, have done a, a significant remodel in an area where all the houses are kind of old and run down, then you're probably going to lose money on that. So you need to rely on a real estate professional's advice as to how your uh, projected upgrades relate to the others that are available. Now something else that really gets lost in the mix is repairs. Okay. Because regardless of whether it's upgraded or not, being repaired is important. Buyers don't want to buy someone else's project unless they're getting a serious discount. So a home seller can't look at something and say, well, it needs about $3,000 worth of repair, so we'll just knock $3,000 off the price. Not going to work. The buyer is going to say, it needs about $3,000 worth of repair, so I want to take $10,000 off the price for the trouble to have to mess with it. So you really need to watch those and be careful about where you are. It's all cyclical and all relative. And should we leave like the color schemes for the, the walls up to them, or should we keep it as our own? Remember this. Buyers see what they see, not what it can be. You know, some buyers really have vision, but they get paid for that vision. That means they're investors and they come in at rock bottom price. Most buyers are like you and me. They want to go out and make, make a few changes to a property themselves. and. They may make changes, but they don't want to make changes to something that's ugly to start with. You have to give them a, a, a platform, a foundation to work with, and just make it neutral and something they can walk in and, and have a dream for. Perfect. Thank you so much, Daryl, for My coming pleasure. out. And if you want to see the properties, they are available. Uh, to, you just need to log on to homeguidetulsa.com, or you can find out more about real estate at darylbaskin.com. Um, David Edens yes. is the owner, been around for a long time, so yes. uh, thanks for taking some time today. Hey, you betcha, it's great for you guys to come by, we appreciate it. Bye Harold. Thanks.
EdensStructural.com. Yeah. And uh, you said the owner, um, David Edens, yes. is the owner, been around for a long time. Yes. So uh, thanks for taking some time today. Hey, you betcha. It's great for you guys to come by. We appreciate it. Bye, Harold. Thanks.